Hey guys, what's going on? Stropiel here, and this is Rival Kingdoms, the new game. Isn't the new Castle Clash? I don't know, this is the first time I'm running this game. So now we are going through the tutorial. Evil tutorials are in every game, almost in every, but whatever. We have to learn how to play this game, so all of us have to go through the tutorials. If you want, can pause the game, read that stuff. Uh, I will be reading it too, so it will take some time. But maybe there's some plot, maybe there, there's some story in the game so that we have to know and don't miss it at the beginning. Okay, so on the left, bottom corner, there are some troops, and it show, it's showing us to drag them into that area. Okay, so that's what we are doing. It seems that we are spawning some groups of troops. We cannot spawn them one by one like it works in Cast Clash or Clash of Clans. So this is kind of interesting idea. This is something different from other games. Not sure if it was used already in uh, in other games. Okay. So there are some weird birds or, or maybe small dragons. Yeah, they look like birds to be honest. And. Uh, this is probably something like a spell. Yeah, some kind of spells. Yeah, metal rain. And this is metal rain on this too. So we are going through a village, we are destroying it. We are smashing our opponent. And what is it? Don't want to work? Oh, it's some kind of shield. It it's sealed for our troops, but it's not working very well. They are still taking a lot of damage. I don't know what is it about, but okay. General Alondra Aurelius. Things like we have won the battle. Oh, this is our lovely village. It's it's pretty small at the beginning, like always. It shows us that we have to build something, some production buildings, gold storage. Okay, no problems. We have to store our gold to to make it safe. <sighs> My first opinion from the first sight, the graphics in the game looks very cool. This is some medieval theme, some w w w with mixed fantasy. Dragons, some fantasy troops, uh, and stuff like that. I don't know what exactly I can see in that game. I'm sure that there are some dragons. Yeah, because I've seen some videos showing this game. So now we are doing some multiplayer battle. We are fighting with one of the players, opponents, and we are spawning our troops. These soldiers are just plundering, they are taking gold for me and the biggest building is it town hall? no no in this game I think this is called stronghold or something like that and well at the beginning the game seems to be pretty easy yeah oh look at that whenever I hold a spell it slows down the game slows down you can see that slow movement of everything. This is really cool. This is epic because it gives me much more precious time to think what I want to do with a spell, where to use it. I really like that thing. I really like that thing about that game. I see many very good and smart things about that game, but not only. I have some mixed mixed emotions about it. But mostly positive. Mostly, I really enjoy things in that game. Okay. So, oh, we are just right now reviewing the battle. I don't know what it was exactly. Uh, but uh, from that, what I see, this is just the review. And nothing much. We are facing Craghorn. And no idea why. My name in the game is Robin Water 82 because I didn't choose the name. Maybe it's it's generated randomly, something like that. I will have to check that. I hope that I can choose my 
original nickname, which is Srupiel, or maybe Gimme Favor. But, uh, okay, let's go to the home. And what's here? We have to build another another portal. Portal are these weird things I have, I think. Oh, troop portal. In these portals, we are creating our squads, our our troops teams, troop teams. Yeah, this is exactly what it is. And here we can select squads. Oh, this is also cool that you can skip for free most of the time at the beginning of your game. Select your squads. Okay, so what we have there, we have some uh, cross crossbowmen, mm, soldiers, how they are called. Mm, I have no idea. We'll we'll see later. Oh, there, there are some quests and we are just finishing them and getting some cool stuff. Oh, 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 there was something in the settings, but now, now, let's see everything, let's see everything, what we have there. Language is no Polish, but whatever. And there is a player settings change name. This is exactly what I was looking for. And I don't want random name, my name is Srupiel. PL means that I'm from Poland, and so is just the first part of my nickname. So, this is from that what I see. Mm, we should connect our Google Play account. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah, we are connecting our Google account just to link it. You have to log in. And let's enjoy the game later. I'm really excited about this game. I, I really like playing it from the beginning. It's not boring. It has cool animations, cool graphics. Oh, and we are getting 400 diamonds as the first day of the daily rewards. That's a good, good, nice thing. Hmm. We can remove a tree. I think that we are getting some gems or, or cool stuff by removing obstacles, like, like in Castle Clash. Oh, we have to wait for a builder. Mm, no. We are not getting anything. Oh, really? So, it costs gold. We, have, we need a free builder to remove obstacles. And we don't get any gems. This is the thing I dislike. But whatever, it might be different in other games, it, it doesn't need to be the same in every game. So if we are, if we are getting gems in Cast Clash by removing obstacles, we don't really need that kind of stuff uh, in this game. Oh, this is how I can track the building and make some kind of a base, and yeah. Let's prepare some kind of a defense, this, this seems to be a wall. Uh, yeah, this is the wall, and let's see how the walls work in this game. Okay, I don't think that we have enough walls to uh, to around our to put them around our buildings. I mean, all buildings. So it will be pretty hard to build some kind of a base, but it should be enough at the beginning. I know I'll be changing it many more times in the future. Uh, mega value pack. Now we are not buying any gems. I think that we will we'll be just playing as free to player. I, I would like to support this game, but I'm really, really. Uh, I'm really not happy about the gems that I have spent on Cast Clash. And I think that this was a bad idea. Well, not very bad for me, because I got all the money back that I have spent. But anyway, I don't think that spending money for such games is a good thing. Unless you are rich or you, re you, you badly want to be one of the top players. Also, I'm enjoying the free-to-play way of playing and how should I arrange uh, arrange my base? Hmm. Oh, this is really cool how you can put the walls and they still connect with each other. Yeah. 
this is not that bad. I'm sure that there, there can be many cool bases built in that game. And you know guys that I love building and creating new bases. This is the thing that I really enjoy. Okay. So we have some free space here. Let's hide our gold storage. Mm. There's our archer tower or was it what is it? Crossbow tower? I don't know the name. Okay. Let's drag all of you all to uh, in one row, okay. Hmm. I'm not sure if obstacles are blocking enemies, so they cannot sneak between the wall and obstacle. I have no clue, but we will see later. Uh, for now, we just we just put everything together to make it strong in one piece. Hopefully, it will be strong. But I'm sure at the beginning they would just smash my base without problems. Some stronger players. They are playing longer than me. I'm just playing one day. Come on, don't burn my village. This is just a little, little town with not many citizens. Okay. And two more buildings to hide. What is that small, small wooden house? I have no idea what is it, I haven't, I haven't checked it yet. But we'll see of course later, like everything. And now, now the crossbow building, crossbow tower. Hmm. Okay, everything seems, seems to be good. Well protected, at least from the north. And from the west a little bit. So let's hope that the players won't be attacking us from south. <laughs> okay. We need some gold, we have to raid. We have to raid. Haha. <laughs> we have to conquer and burn villages. Destroy stronghold and win. 150 gold. Not bad. Okay, so where should we start? Of course we should start from the defensive buildings like that crossbow tower. That's what I think. Should we? Should we do that? Mm, of course. It will be the easiest way to win the battle. Because other buildings cannot kill our troops. So right now it will be easy go till the end. Okay, so this is the most important building and gives a lot of mana, gives 15 mana points. And I think that you just have to destroy that one single building to win the battle. Seems to be very weird, there is no percentage shown how, how many percent of the village have destroyed. Oh, there's some cool demon that's helping me destroy the village. Not sure if this is just a spell or what. Whatever. But we, we won the battle epic victory. I defeated Talward 96. And we have a win streak too. Wow, no single failure. Oh, treasure chest. What can we get out of this? Is it 200 gold? Not bad. I'm, I like to receive some chest rewards and open them, but it seems that you cannot collect them in that game. You can only open them instantly as fast as you get them. So, fast beer 01. Let's see how powerful are you. Hmm. He has more towers. Yeah. Oh, there's something here. I think that this is a magic tower. Is it a magic tower? Okay, let's destroy the magic tower first. I'm really scared about it. Yeah, oh, it's burning my troops. It's burning my soldiers, putting them on fire. And no, no, don't die. Come on, guys. You have destroyed the town hall. I mean, stronghold. Yeah, stronghold. Hmm. Okay, 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 yes. 
And no, god damn, what I have done? I put a spell on destroy building. Mm, I am just putting some weird spells. I, I still didn't figure out how they are working. But I like the demon. This is the last, the last spell and the, the most expensive one. But this demon seems to be very cool. He's not that powerful. He has a, he has a low damage, but a lot of HP from that what I see. So I think he's a good one. Hero. Yeah, that might be a hero. What is doing this spell? Oh, epic victory. Okay, we have won the game. Oh, <laughs> not the game. What I'm talking about? Just three battles. Uh, but still, still maybe we'll be able to go to the top, climb there. Maybe top thousand, maybe top hundred. There's probably something like 500,000 players because the game for Android has over half million downloads. So let's say that it becomes very popular fast, extremely fast, because it's a new game. So I was surprised when I saw so many downloads. I thought that this game would be just a small little game trying to be a copy and paste of Clash of Clans, Castle Clash and some other games, but it's totally different game. Well, not absolutely different, but there are too many differences just to say that these games are similar. Okay, really chest. This is another kind of chest. I want to open it, of course, and let's see what I've got. Oh, I've won Mana Hunters. I think they are good, but where do I get them? How can I use them? I don't know, but let's battle again. 5 Joe 59. Okay, not a very good village. Just one crossbow tower. Mm. So it will be just easy target for me. Very easy. Oh, there are mana hunters and I can use them. Hmm. Battle boosts. Okay, so I can use them to have more powerful troops and forces in the battle, but I think they can be only used once, so let's don't waste them. Let's save them for the harder opponents yeah. and just destroy that village. Yeah, I can feel the power of my troops plundering, grabbing gold. So, so, I am the most powerful player right now. I can destroy any village. Be scared of me. Be scared. I am coming for you. This is another epic victory. Win streak 5. The new record. Haha. <laughs> okay. So here we are getting another achievement. We are just claiming the rewards that are very nice. Oh, some diamonds! Diamonds in the night. Oh, oh. I'm not a singer, sorry. Uh, okay. This is our gold smelter. No, 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 no. Okay, let's remove some stuff. I think that we have to make more place for our village to grow, to make it grow, have more space and area, open area, so we can prepare good defense and defend from the barbarians and enemies that want to destroy us, peaceful people living in the soul, yeah. What the hell am I talking about? I have no idea and I'm not drunk at all. That's what she said. Okay, so we are removing these trees and we are not getting gems, I mean diamonds at all. So, what a pity, guys, what a pity, but hmm, we have 12 hours shield, 
That's really cool. This is the shield that we get probably when we start the game. Let's appear some more gold smelters. Because I want to produce more gold. Yeah. They're like gold mines, but this this looks pretty weird. There are some rails going to nowhere. So yeah, for me it oh this is watchtower, not crossbow tower, but this is watchtower, whatever. And I was correct, there's a spell tower. These all things I can actually build them, so this is what I'm going to do right now. And we'll expand our village, build more buildings, make stronger defenses. Oh, get five battle stones. For free? Hmm. That seems to be fishy. Oh, this refill is free. Go forth and destroy your enemies. Nine remaining after this. That's really cool. You can grow fast at the beginning of the game because you get a lot of free stuff. So this is how they want to make you stay in the game. They are giving you free stuff. So you are happy. You are growing fast. And then you will really see if you like the game or not. Oh, I, I can actually tap the buildings and see their levels. This is pretty helpful. You cannot do that in Castle Club or other games. And in this game, I don't really have to care about the, uh, about the skins. Because I can just tap on the building and see the real level. Right now I'm going to use Mana Hunters because I don't feel really safe about that base. It looks pretty hard to beat. Okay. So looks like my mana hunters are really weak. They're extremely weak. Come on. Oh, the last one has died. And this is going to be a big failure. That drop the shield for our troops protection shield. And they're still taking the damage. Why? Tell me why. Oh, that shield is not a good spell. I shouldn't have used it. Reward we lost 22 trophies, and we got only six by honor streak. I mean, winning in the row many battles. Uh, so we we are not very very successful player. Uh, I mean I am not a very successful player for now and you can just enjoy these funny moments when I fail so much in, in the beginning of the game when the beginnings are so easy so okay hopefully this this one just make you unsoup or dislike the video because I'm a total newbie at the moment. Uh, I, I'm, I'm still learning how to play the game so please don't hate me don't hate me for lack of my knowledge about this game. Hopefully I will be much stronger in the future if we will stay with this game of course and if you if you like it too. Because I, I'm really willing to make much more videos about it. The game seems to be very cool, and yeah, I'm enjoying it. Of course, I will try to encourage my players, I mean not my players, but my friends from Castle Clash to join this game, and hopefully they will go with me and they will play together, maybe we will create a guild together, or maybe we will just make some raids together, No, not sure how multiplayer interaction this game works at all because I've seen some more game modes, some arena and some campaigns some guilds too so I will figure out this and we'll see how exactly this works in this game because I want to play with my friends oh come on why the hell this soldier is attacking the wall you can just go around and hit the watchtower Oh my god, the eye pathing is kinda still retarded in this game, but I'm sure I will be much more intelligent in the future after some update. Or maybe it is intended to be like this, I have no idea, but 
for sure in that certain situation that soldier who's supposed to go just around the walls okay so I'm putting that shield that I I shouldn't use but it's over so I was just checking the animation of it again and like the animation of that shield just going around the troop Treasure chest. Let's see what's inside. Inside the treasure treasure chest, we have some battle stones. Yeah, the writing in this game is limited. The battle stones are recovering every ten minutes, I think, fifteen, something like that. So it's pretty like dungeons in Castle Clash that are that have also five chances and they are recovering in time. So sadly, you cannot rate unlimited time, un unlimited number, uh, I, I mean you cannot have unlimited number of frames. So the, the purpose in the, of this game is to use everything what you can and try to defend from enemies. You cannot just sit whole day and wait, wait, wait till you become the strongest player. But still you have limited limited number of raids. So this is one of the things they really like in this game. And if you like the videos guys, if you are still watching so long video and if you want more, write in comments, subscribe and give a like. So thanks so much for watching and bye.